So, bro, this is another day of Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. Better get uh, the hot anti honey on the side. That's super important. Cover up my nasty background. Mm, can't go wrong with Tifa. How about a human this time? That nasty beauty beauty. And the magnifier. Well, I'm not even turn that down. It's a smidge. Everybody get up. It's time to slam now. We got the real jam going down. Welcome to the space jam. It's your chance. Do your dance at the space jam. like a slam. Thank you for welcoming, welcoming me to this kind of- oh fuck. So goddamn complicated to play video games these days. Now we good. How many people come here? You on the run? Looking for Cooch Lane's tomb. You know where it is? It's in the building at the back of the parking lot. You're not thinking of going in unprepared, are you? Better stock up, man. Accidentally just buy a B ball. Okay. Not too bad. That was kind of a waste. So he came out on top. So this guy's the speed guy. This guy's, I think, supposed to be the guard guy. This guy's supposed to be the power guy. This guy's supposed to be the brain guy. 
but it looks like I'm not doing things that way. Uh, can I instantly heal? No, don't want to read all these. Let me heal by the fire. Yeah. Equip that. Ooh, yeah. This is worth it. Yeah, if you don't like preparing for battle, then don't play JRPGs or any kind of RPG. Because it's not really about the combat, it's about the preparation for combat. That's the fun part. And stupid people cannot understand that. Unfortunately, I'm very smart. That's why I play sophisticated games like this. The, this is it. Kachu Lane's tomb. Barkley, are you aware of the story of Kachu Lane? Not really. Should I be? Yes, Barkley. You should be very aware of his story. History? His story? Get it? <laughs> it began long ago, long before the cyberpocalypse. Kachu Lane was a Celtic space warlord with crimes too unbearable to even mention. Talking about rape. What did he do, Cyberdorf? What he did was too gruesome, too terrible to tell. It was totally rape. I am sure that someday, Hoops, you'll know what he did when you become a rapist. When you when you grow up and become a Tyrone and you go and, and you go on raping sprees. But his crimes are not important now. What is important is that Clisabeth. Okay. So Clisopeth might be an anagram or something. Cause like, there's a Z in there. No, never mind. I had something but I lost it. Oh, uh, in case it's not clear, I took a Bang energy drink that has 300 milligrams of caffeine. That's pretty close to a drug, but yeah, it's not a big day for drugs. Although I did get THCO. And that's good stuff. And it's definitely making me stupider. Anyway, Kachillian's power away and forever causing harm again. However, as millennia passed, the power of the seal eroded and Kachillian was once again able to extend his darkened tendrils into the wor world. Granted, he's still sealed, but some of his power has leaked through to our dimension. What does this all mean, Cyberdorf? Is Kachillian coming back or what? I don't get it. <laughs> Kachillian has the ability to show a man what he most desires, Barkley means that if you see w what it is you want most inside this tomb, absolutely do not touch it. Touching it will break the seal forever and release Kachulain back into the world. It's gonna be Marine, obviously. I'll remember that. You better get going though. That gem site isn't going to get itself. So we're gonna like not open any of the treasure boxes, I guess? Uh, 
You know, I was going to put a maze area in my game, but they're really just never fun, are they? It's just always like you see it, you're like, well, this is going to be a slog. And there's not unlimited run, so that sucks. I'm gonna abuse the fuck out of that move. Battles are all different. I don't know why that's only doing one damage to those particular enemies. That doesn't really make sense to me. reason.
Oh my god. This is fucking time. Oh my fucking god. I'm uh, starting to lose its luster a little bit. Who the fuck do you think you are, game? God damn it, how the fuck do I even do this? What what the fuck do I I'm gonna have to look this up. Do I am I supposed to shoot these? There's no way I can run that fast. I'll have to wait until they're they all go. I'll start down here. And I'll just work my way around. Actually, I should start up there. Fucking A. Well, I didn't like it, but that was a fair amount of difficulty for what it is. If you like that type of shit, those type of, like, switch and block puzzles from Zelda, you should play Cross Code. It's like, it's that taken to, like, the nth degree. It's honestly too hard for me. I'll, I'll get back to it eventually, but... I just lost my temper too. And I shouldn't have, but there's just so much at stake. Yeah. I can't afford to fuck up. <laughs> it's okay, Dad. It's just sometimes I get scared when you're like this. We're gonna need to find a way to open this door some way or another. Well, there seems to be four corridors leading from this gateway. It would be logical if we split up one to each corridor and look for a way to open it. Sounds like a what? It looks like we don't have much choice. What? They're gonna split the party. Okay. Need to hustle. Don't have much time left. Oh, and good luck, everyone. Hmm, it appears this is the path that I must take. Hopefully, I'll find a way to open the gate. Halt! You are under arrest for trespassing. 
in Chulain's tomb. Yeah, this guy's about to get jammed and slammed. supposed to be doing. Or do you drop to your knees if you win the battle? Sure. Tapping keys, no thanks to your driving. Yes, I understand. Don't get any funny ideas. Punch it, we'll be fine. You okay? Some kind of weapon is it? Let's stay focused now. Hello, how do you use it against- Hold on now, you're losing me. Something buried? What? What? <laughs> Shit. Was that a Halo reference? I'll probably never play those games at this point. Yeah. Damn. Let's try using this just at first. I'll just get two of those and that'll be that. Maybe the guy from Mark of Cry? This is like a PS2 action game. A pretty good battle system, I think. I don't know, I never actually played it. It looked like it had a good battle system. No, that's like some Doom character. Oh yeah, that's gotta be it. Shirtless. Huh, of course that worked. Shirtless guys are weak against ice. Everyone knows that. Save the rest for other guys. Hmm, what is this? A library? How to effectively utilize Zauber's in an offensive manner, volume three. Seems to be a tome of some sort. Advanced Zauber Mechanics, Volume 9. This... This library houses every single tome and compendium on Zauber's ever written. I've been searching for some of these my whole life. This truly is a collection of compendiums to be revered. Oh shit, it a trap, nigga. However, now is not the time to be studying Zauber's. Charles entrusted me to the task of finding a way to open the gate. Well, of finding a way to open the gate to me. I cannot abuse his trust or prove it misplaced. P precious compendiums. Don't do it! Don't do it! All these compendiums and tombs, it could be yours if you simply touch them. Man, that would just make me want to not touch it. Ha! Just as I suspected, this was merely a ruse of Cthulhu's. I believe Cyberdorf mentioned it earlier that he would show us whatever we most desire. I, I suppose my thirst for knowledge nearly did get the better of me, though. The switch looks like it might open the gate. I should probably press it. I think that I could nearly fall for a trick that's obvious. Well, it's gonna be his real face. There appears to be some sort of pit ahead of me. I wonder if it holds the answers to the mystery of the Gemicide Gate. Or 
understand. I should acquire this item. What? What the? This is a fucking awesome mechanic. I love this shit. What? Wait, do I just have to make my own bridge? I think I just have to make my own bridge. Well, that works for me. I don't have to make my iron bridge? That was just fucking luck? Nice. Thank you, luck fairy. What? What? What the hell? What do I do? Yeah, buddy. Making our way. Making our way in the world today. What the fuck do I do now? Oh, fuck. Yeah, 10 out of 10 minigame right here. Gotta hand it to him. It didn't work the way I initially suspected. And... This is not the type of thing you find too often in games, to be honest. Shit, shit, nope, 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 nope. puzzle I've ever seen. Well, maybe. Yep, I got it. Hmm, I wonder where this room is. Oh shit, it me! What is this, a uh, dwarf? Is this me? Is this who I would have been if... Well, my skin. I've been so lonely since the accident. Nobody will talk to a... to a goddamn dwarf of Bebo's skin. <laughs> All these years, not a single friend, not a single lover to make a pink away. Oh my god, cry me a river. I was born in an cell. You merely adopted the darkness. I was born in it, molded by it. Yeah, I'm not even gonna give him the dignity of reading the rest of that shit. Uh, so I wish it, it actually did give us choice whether or not to do all these things. Also, Hoop should be able to, like, run faster or run longer or something. Okay, that red eye turned on. Okay, two red eyes turned on. So we got left up. Uh, let's say left. And 
it is not right. Now we go right. Nice. Not even any enemies. Nice streamline. Ba ba ba. Oh look, it's my mommy. Durr. Kind of boring. Oh, he doesn't want for anything. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Wow. Fucking unexpected wholesomeness. Cause like he he's very content with his life. He loves himself. He loves like everything. Even though he lives in like the fucking post cyber apocalypse. So each adds a certain number, and some of the numbers we add together it makes 34. Wow, he didn't get any battles? That's a little strange. Oh, he doesn't want anything either. Okay. Well, that's not not quite as heartwarming as the last one. What? Wait, what? What an idiot! He's the only one without self-control? God damn, Charles Barkley. Wait, is the game over now? Fuck, I can't move. Do something. Ha, ah, you fool! Charles Barkley, you have freed me! You have freed me from my millennia of imprisonment! Oh, shit. Did I just free Kachulain? Thinking gold wasn't even real. Probably pull the switch. God damn it! Can possibly have. I'm sure he's okay, Oops, I'm sure of it. Sorry for the wait. Looks like the gate's open now. It is, but a strange thing happened to me while I was alone. I saw this great library filled with lexicons, compendiums, and tomes about Zalbers. We even held a copy of the fabled Zalbernomicon, which most Zalber scholars did not even believe existed. I suppose it was a reflection of my greatest desires. Knowledge of Zalbers, but still, it was interesting to see. Something happened to me. I saw an illusion of myself before... Before my b-ball skin grafts. I saw who I would be today if it weren't for the accident. Seems we both saw our greatest desires. Did you see anything, Hoops? Nope, I didn't see anything. Uh, amazing. You sure of this, Hoops? You saw nothing? Yeah, nothing. Not even VidCons. I, uh, didn't see it either. Wow, what a wonderfully written, flawed protagonist. My suspicions were right all along. I believe I'm following your train of thought, Cyberdorf, but we may have more pressing things to attend to. Namely, the gem site. That's right, the gem site. Let's go through the gate and get the gem site. Oh, I can skip the cinemas. Not know that. I believe this is the... Uh, this is it. I've never been so sure in my entire life, but I know this is the Jamma site. D Dad? Barkley, are you right? This feeling, I'm, I'm better than all right. This is the best I've felt in a long time. It's like, it's like that feeling just before a big game. Your fans are cheering for you and the announcer is shouting out your stats and the DJ is pumping out the jock jams. <laughs> they ban jock jams during the purge, but, but I can hear them in my dome. I can hear the fans roaring for me. Are you ready to insert the Gemma site into the prototype, Barkley? I'm ready. Alright, let's do this. It's the hell, B-Ball. is complete. The prototype is, I can feel it. Dad, are you okay? One billion B-Balls dribbling simultaneously throughout the galaxy. One trillion B-Balls being slam dunked through a hoop throughout the cosmos. I can feel every single b-ball that has ever existed at my fingertips. I can feel the collective knowledge channeling through my veins. Every- Oh man, they should have made his eyes like glow red or like turn to b-balls or something. To like, imply that he's being like imbued with all this knowledge, like he's going Super Saiyan. Yeah, it should have been like an animation too on his, uh, his little sprite. Every jump shot, every rebound, every three-pointer, every layup, dunk, and free throw. I am there. 
I am Beeple. Now it turns into an Akira-like monster. Though I have reforged the ultimate Beeple, there is something I must still do. There is another basketball that cries out for an owner. No, not an owner. A companion. I must find this Beeple. Save it from the depths of uh, the depths of obscurity that it so fears. I will meet you outside of Kachulam's tomb. Do not worry, I will be back. Charles, are you okay? I am. Beyond such primal mo emotions as okay, Balthios, I am enlightened. You will be all right, Barkley. This is something I must do alone, Cyberdwarf, but do not worry. I will return. This I vow. Be careful, Dad. You don't need to worry, Hoops. There is nothing that can happen to me. I've already seen the outcome. Goodbye. Uh... And I must save it the game. No, wait, first one's stock up. I want more science points, damn it. Pedophilia shout out. Wait, is he defending the Lycons? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Little sister Ray <Rick. laughs> Can't get this kind of content on Twitch. Welcome to my restaurant. Who is you? I've had many names throughout the ages, but you may call me Shimaglobe. Sh Shimaglobe? I was forged thousands of years ago by the proto dwarfs in a volcano. They infused me with ancient magics to give me speed, bounce, range, and most importantly, accuracy. I cannot miss a jump shot or a dunk, Charles Barkley. I cannot miss a slam, jam, or thank you, ma'am. That breaks all NBA rules and regulations. <laughs> I came before rules and regulations. I wrote the rules and regulations. I have chosen you, Barkley, because I believe that you are the only one that can save people. You are the only one that can restore it to its former glory. But, but how? Only with the combined powers of myself and the Hell Bee Ball, which you just forged, can we defeat Blood Moses and the Ultimate Bee Ball. Only then can basketball begin anew. But first, I must test you to see if you are truly the one to wield me. You must face my guardian, the dreaded Bee Ball Spider. Bring it on. Wait, it's just this guy. Man, get out of here. Kill any more little minions, dude. For Botan Jam. Oh shit. Triple two B balls at once. Damn, that's fucking hardcore. What does HS mean? HS. Oh, it's Hell slash Simmer B Ball. Shimmer Globe and Hell B Ball can now be double dribbled for two attacks. You said he'd be back soon. I'm going in there. Hoops, no, it's too dangerous. But, but Dad! Hoops. I'm here, Hoops. Dad, are you okay? What happened? Barkley, what happened? I I felt this B Ball calling me from deep inside Kachulain's tomb. It was a powerful voice, and it told me that I could save B Ball if I defeated Blood Moses. It, it lent me its powers and the ability to double dribble. 
Double dribble? You mean dual wheel two B balls? My lord. I control the powers of Shimmer Globe, B ball of the ancient protodorphs, and the Hell B ball, forged on an anvil of Jamisite. I now have the power to shoot a three pointer from 30 yards away. Barkley, that's not a three pointer. That's a four pointer. <laughs> nice. Well, now that we've got the power to counter the ultimate people and Blood Moses, what do we do now? I, I don't know. We just don't know what Blood Moses is. It almost seems like all this was for nothing. It could take me days or weeks or months to divine the location of Blood Moses, but by then it may be too late. My scrying powers can only go so far. But we can't just give up, you guys. We can't just stop everything. No, we can't. Necron 5. What? Necron 5. The ultimate b-ball is on Necron 5. Barkley? How do you know this? I don't know. I just do. I can feel it. I can feel its energy coming from Necron 5. Are you channeling its power through the hell b-ball? I don't know. I think so. All I know is that it's on Necron 5. What's Necron 5, Mr. James? The Necron 5 is an intergalactic slave ship, hoops. Those that spoke out against the government during the purge, who weren't executed, were on the spot, were put on Necron 5 to do hard labor in the Tupperware mines. But even if we know it's on the Necron 5, it's still in outer space. How are we going to get there? My ship. The one I crash landed in when I came to this planet. It's south of New York. We can use that. I thought your ship was destroyed when you came to Earth. That's what you said back in Cesspool X. It was, but I've been here a long time, Barkley. Long enough to repair my ship. I've wanted to leave this planet for a long time, but I've been searching for the B-Ball Messiah. Well, how do we get to your ship? We'll have to leave near New York and go south. It's not far away, and it's not hard to find. All right, then we'll leave for your ship and head to the Necron 5. Is everything going to be all right, Dad? I hope so, Hoops. I sure hope so. Okay, so I have to navigate back. Oh god, I hate those face mask things they use in the NBA. Oh, and I'll take that free heal, please. Proto near New York. It shouldn't be south of here. We have to go like all the way back up to the surface. Unless they fucked up. Or the the one guy who made this fucked up and got Proto New Neo New York and Neo New York conflated. From my shit, you don't gotta say it, but I can tell by the way you look that I got some of what you want. Or you want some of what I got? Fuck, who cares? Hey, he says bro too. What a cool guy.
Oh, he did fuck up. Yeah, I didn't even know this game had something like this in it. Thought it was a world map free experience. Oh, is this the end game? This is gonna be the final battle. There's no turning back from here. You gonna give us back B-Ball, Dad? I, I don't know, Hoops. I just hope that when we get rid of this ultimate B-Ball thing, they realize that it's not B-Ball that's the problem, but the people who misuse it. Basketball is not about hurting people. It's about slamming and jamming. Right, Dad? Yeah, hoops. Yeah. We're approaching the Necron 5. <laughs> the slave ship. I don't know what we... Where to expect once we're inside, so everyone be on high alert. Cyberdwarf, can you come here a second? Okay. Cyberdwarf, if anything happens to me, I want you to take care of him. Barkley, I don't know if I can do that. My basketball skin makes me ill-equipped to be a father. I'm not asking you to be a father, Sabdorf. I'm asking you to be a mentor. If anything happens to you, yes. I will take care of Oops. Thank you, Sabdor. Prepare for entry into Necron 5. This is the Necron 5. There's nowhere to go now but forward. I don't know who or what blows Blood Moses is, but I know that the answer is somewhere on this ship. I'm not afraid, Dad. I'm gonna stick by you no matter what. I've been, I've been with you from the beginning, Barkley. There's no backing down now. First save point, though, I am going to uh, save and quit. Looks like it's after this boss. V Vince! I've been, oh shit, is he gonna kill one of my party members and then replace them? I hope that happens, that'd be cool. Surrender now and your death will be as quick and painless as humanly possible. Resist and... B-Ball will be the least of your worries. You know damn well that B-Ball will always be my foremost of my worries, Vince, and it was the foremost of yours too. What are you saying? Vince, look into your heart. Look at what you've become. Look at what Blood Moses has turned you into. You're a goddamn murderer and terrorist now. You're trying to kill one of your closest friends, and for what? To destroy the game you love the most? Do you remember a long time ago when we were kids? Or, or, remember? I didn't have any friends, Vince. I would watch all of the kids having fun on the b-ball court from the window. I wanted to be out there so bad, but I was afraid. I didn't know what they'd think of me, what they'd say when I missed a shot or fouled a teammate. But none of that mattered to you, Vince. You passed me the ball and asked me if I wanted to play. You gave me the ball, Vince gave me the sport. But more importantly, you gave me a purpose. I, I remember. This isn't where you belong, Vince. This isn't who you are. You're not Blood Moses. Don't let them do this to you. What have I done? What if I become Barclay Hoops? Everybody, I'm sorry. Vince. There's only one task left to execute. Oh, shit. Kill, the delete, apprehend, bark, exception, error, initiate, sequence to kill Hoops, cancel, self-destruct, begin, self-destruct. What? Vince, get a grip. You, you can fight Blood Moses' control. Don't destroy yourself. God damn, it doesn't have to end this way. Kill hoops, override, continue self destruct. Farewell. No. When's it gonna end, huh? When's all this shit gonna end? Do you hear me, Blood Moses? You're gonna pay for this in spades. Damn spades! Christopher, have mercy. Why has everything gotta be so messed up? Why do they always gotta take it one step further? I don't mean to oppose, but we don't have time to stand and grieve. We need to press forward. We can't stop now. You're right. We got a score to settle. Dad, let's go beat up the bad guys so no more people get hurt. You got it, son.
shit. <laughs> oh fuck, this is a tough one. Pocky. Yes, because he's a weeb. Fuck. I don't know this one. Should be it for now. Might come back later today. Never know. Peace, bro.